Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another super quick laser project. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody, let's start in the laser case. This is my new version where the entire laser is going to sit on this little holder. Let me pop these in and show you how they're going to look. I printed four, but I don't know where I put the other one. So we'll leave one original. So once again, these old ones were thinner and they did not have a flat top. Now we've got a flat top, so when we set these in, I think there will be more force to hold them in place. Notice if it doesn't lay flat enough, you can switch it to the other way. And then also, you can put in a little bit of bend that holds them down as well. All right, I couldn't find a way to not have my body in the way, so I did that off camera. But as you can see, that snaps in there pretty darn nice. The only one that I haven't replaced yet is that one in the far back. And I'll make sure I get that next time we do a cut. All right, friends, so I have got the laser connected. Let's import our part. I store them in my 3D modeling, and you can see we have got a coaster MDH2 file. Let's bring that in. I'll zoom in and check it out. See these separations here where it's not going to cut? That is what makes this project so it's successful. So now let's move over because we have got the camera and let's update the overlay. So you can see we have got an old cutout here and I'm going to zoom out so that we can see this better. Let's quickly pan and I can move this where I want. So I'm going to grab that design and I'm going to just put it up here. And then from so one of my favorite things is now that I've got that in place, I can hit frame. All right, friends, one of my favorite things now is when I hit frame, it actually moves up to that location. We can double check to see if it's where we like it. I am liking every bit of that. So let's close the cover. Real quickly, we'll check our cuts. We're gonna do a 400 speed, one pass, 100% power, friends. Friends, it's time to grab my goggles and let's make something magical. Alrighty friends, let's open it up and see what we made. Once again, I can just move these little wires out of place. I've got that awesome little fan back there that is venting. Super cool. And as you can see, that cut like butter. And friends, there you have it. It is a sweet coaster created with code blocks cut on the Comgro Z1. Oh my gosh. Totally fun, of course, this one's cardboard. Now it's time to track down some wood and make a real coaster. Friends, we're gonna wrap this one up inside. Once again, this cool design was created using Tinkercad code blocks. When you hit play, that code runs and it makes this design. Friends, I'll have a tutorial up above so you can learn how quick and easy it is to make. And it's customizable. This is just the first of many designs we'll make with the very same code. I do also want to remind you if you want more info about the Comgro Z1 or the enclosure or the camera module, there will be links down below. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you'll be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.